So another quick tip video, this time about the grid sequencer from JW and how you can easily create complex sequences with it. I will mention quickly that I published a full tutorial video about this sequencer on my Patreon page. If you are interested, links in the description. So here I have a sequence going. Right, the clock is driving the forward trigger input, so we get a repetitive four-step sequence. The voice itself is the sine VCO from Surge XT going through the wave shaper, and there's the quad LFO adding some movement. Right, so the first thing I can do is use a divided clock to drive the sequence downward and move between the rows. I have here a clock divided by eight. Right, so now each row will play four times before it moves to the next row and we get a much longer sequence already. Now we can also use probability to jump to random places in the sequence. So if I zoom out a bit, I have here chances from count modular. This will add probability to the main clock. Right, and now one of the outputs will trigger the random trigger input here, so it will randomly jump to a random step in the sequence and add even more variation. Right, another thing we can do is add random ratchets with the burst generator. Again, I have here the one from count modular. I will use a multiplied by four clock to clock the burst generator. This will go to the repetition trigger input, so the notes will repeat themselves, and again we will get ratcheting. I will set a burst of three pulses, right, and I will trigger it with the second output here of the chances. Right, so now we have also random ratcheting. We can also add variation in octave. Right, with the sequencer, again I have here the sequencer from count modular. I have only the first step active and it's running randomly. You can see it's jumping between the steps. Right, so now if I send this to the CV input of the octave, function on the sequencer will get also random jumps in octaves. Right now, since I have access to when this happens via the trigger output of the count modular sequencer, I can make other events happen at the same time. For example, sending this voice to a delay and again only with the octave jump. So here I have another envelope generator and a fully wet delay. So if I use the copy of this voice, only on step one, just like now, only on step one, it will actually go to the delay. Right, so now I can go ahead and add probability per step. Yes, the grid sequencer has also probability per step to make this even more interesting. Right, we have also the Y, X outputs that will output a variation of the sequence. So if, for example, I use the pitch to sequence another voice, I have here the modern VCO going through a bandpass filter and again a delay. 